Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Living a Country Life with Thomas Collins. Today we're here at the house. I'm going to be working on Stepside Chevrolet, 1994. We got some motor mounts here to paint and clean up a little bit. So let's get started. Alright, we're going to get to cleaning those motor uh, clamshells up. They're called clamshell motor mount plates. Guess what, y'all? I took some of y'all's advice. What do y'all see right there? Coat hangers. So we're gonna try this out. See how a coat hanger work. Get the cutters. What color do you think these ones are going to be? Got them hanging up there. I'm gonna paint these. Guess what color? I think they're gonna look good. Let's take a close look. Looking pretty good. I wish I had a sandblaster. Could have made it more smoother, but... Let 
I'm gonna let them dry a minute and hit them with another coat. But I did miss a spot. I'm gonna let them dry. Start working on something else. I'm fixing to paint my overflow. Or not the overflow, this is the windshield wiper fluid. So let's get this done. And this paint does stick to plastic. This is going to be the first coat. Go ahead and put a second coat on these. Looking good, looking good. Alright. I know this is probably going to be a boring video. But this is kind of like goes with my series of building this truck. These are kind of like the boring parts, even for me, spray painting. Got to get all this done. And then, um, we'll figure out something else to paint that needs to be painted. Hey, everybody. I just want to say thank you for all the nice comments. Sam, my yard looked decent. It does have its little spots that needs to be cleaned up. But, like I said, it's just me here cleaning up, and I have a lot of stuff. Some of it needs to be gone through. I mean, come on. We all have something that needs to be gone through, and you just haven't got to it yet. Um, thank you for being, having all the nice comments. Thank you. Um, and I want to say, I drove the 88 to town yesterday for the first time since building it. Did flawlessly. I'm so happy. Thank you for just pushing me to finish it and, you know, all the nice things about it. Um, thank you for all the comments saying it sounded good. It does sound good. Um, so... I just wanted to tell y'all that. Thank you for everything y'all do for me. Uh, really means a lot to me. Thank you. Love every one of y'all. Alrighty, everybody. I got a transmission up here. That's the transmission one over there on the floor that was sitting right over there. I got it up here. I'm cleaning it up a little bit. I'm going to take it over here to the pressure washer. And I'm going to pressure wash it. And it's going to get painted too. And... It's going to get painted orange and pink. That cap is red, but on camera it shows it's pink. It's going to be two different colors blended together. That's all, that's all I got. It's going to be a colorful truck. At least under the hood, anyways. Alright, i got to get this over there to the pressure washer. So... Let me get that done. It's a heavy son of a gun here. Maybe should I, I should set this over there so I can set it on it first. That was heavy. 
Whew. Yeah, the old 88 did good. I gotta get some help putting the hood back on it. Alrighty, I'm gonna get this thing pressure washed, get the genera uh, generator, the pressure washer fired up, and get the pressure washing. I got all the plugs uh, pretty much plugged off. I got the tail shaft I need to plug, and that's it. Um, yesterday I started the uh, pressure washer and it gave me a pain in the butt to start, so hopefully it's a lot easier today. You know, I think I'm going to go get some duct tape that I got from a subscriber and use it for to plug that hole. Thank you, Mr. Patty. I'm pretty sure that's your name. If not, please forgive me. You know who you are. That's what it says on the uh, YouTube page. Let's see if we can't get the pressure washer started and get the cleaning. Turn the water on first. I hope this thing cranks up. Looking a lot better. Cleaned up. That's it. So, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. And I'm going to move it back over there to the workbench. Alrighty. I'm going to go get the transmission. Bring it back over here. Heavy, heavy. That was heavy.
let it dry off a little bit more and uh, we could paint it so let's check this stuff out here hanging it's all looking pretty good that is one heavy son of a gun this transmission is a 700 R4 transmission with a kick down cable obviously Chevrolet transmission pretty sure it's a four speed holds up can handle the horsepower my engines putting out I think my engine is gonna put out around 375 to 450 horsepower I'm hoping maybe more and these only really can hold up stock 300 350 horsepower this one has been rebuilt has less than a thousand miles on it but I don't know if it's been souped up type you know for ho horsepower I think it's just been a rebuilt which is still good no matter what so alrighty I'm gonna wait for that to dry and get to painting it I figured since I'm waiting I might as well do a walk around it's been a while since I did a walk around on the old 1994 Stepside Chevrolet here for all my new subscribers. I just put these uh, rims and tires on it, 24s. Um, obviously, just did all this painting here. Still got a few wirings I got to go through. Um, it's a 1994 Stepside. There's the front grill for it. These are the drive shafts. I don't know if I ever showed y'all the interior on this. That's the ass end of the truck. It's a nice solid truck. All right, let me show you the inside. Bucket seats. Black carpet, hot rod, steering wheel, old school, black headliner, it's not bad, need a little detailing and that's it, pretty nice. Yeah, I just wanted to share that for my new subscribers. This is my project truck. I got a couple projects, but this one I'm trying to finish up. I got a new motor for it, small block Chevy 350, Ford over 30, over, which makes it a 355. So, that's what I got going on here. It's a work in progress, for sure. Little at a little at a time. I'm talking little at a little, at a little at a little time. It takes money to do this kind of stuff. Transmission. I've been thinking it's going to rain for the last two days. It's been so overcasted. Look like it's going to rain yesterday and all day. Both days, all day. Been feeling nice out though. Yep. How has the weather been in y'all's area in different states around the world? Leave it in the comments. I know it's uh, winters here in Florida. Well, everybody, I'll have to call this video short. I got some things I got to do. We're not going to be able to get this transmission painted today. Plus, it's not dry yet. So, maybe tomorrow or our next couple videos, we'll get it done. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Have a blessed one. See you on the next one.